Hey, what's up? It's Chris, and welcome to another video. So today, I'm going to have my warts removed. I don't want to ocean of youth aesthetics, so let's go. Again, lang niya ako ng uh, ano nga ito? Topical. Yeah, topical anesthesia. So, ayan. Uh, mga 30 to 45 minutes daw ito. And then, proceed na sa part of it. One hour later. Moments later. Alright, so kakawi ko lang. Again, galing akong Ocean of Youth Aesthetics and then uh, pinatanggal ko yung warts ko. Ang tawag na sa procedure ay electrocauterization. Yun, uh, before ko ipagawa yung procedure actually, syempre nag-consult ako kay Doc Beth. Apart from that, nag-research talaga ako. Like kung paano siya ginagawa and then kung ano yung parang um, post uh, post procedure care for the uh, for the wounds and then nag research din ako kung masakit ba siya talaga <laughs> kasi syempre first time ko eh so um di ko alam kung ano expect ko and uh, base dun sa mga nakita ko tolerable and honestly yeah totoo <laughs> tolerable lang naman pala yung pain although lalagyan ka ng topical anesthesia lalagyan yung lahat ng warts mo ng topical anesthesia and then, yung malalaki, like yung nandito ko, tapos yung mga nandito sa side na to, nilagyan sila ng injectable na anesthesia. Weird kasi, akala ko, masasaktan ako dun sa malalaki. Pero yun pala, mas ramdam mo yung pagsunog dun sa maliliit. Tapos tinanong ko kay Doc Beth kung bakit ganun kasi daw, mas uh, attached siya. Mas attached siya sa skin mo. Yeah, the procedure lasted for around um, 90 minutes, I guess. Medyo naka-indip pa ako right after nung ilagay yung anesthesia. So, ayun, mabilis lang, mabilis lang talaga. And overall, the experience was very pleasant. Hindi siya, as in, wala, para lang, parang kinakagat ka lang ng maliliit na lang yung gana. Ang isa ko kasing fear is yung hindi makapag-wash ng face for for a time. Kasi yung nababasa kong mga articles tsaka yung mga napanag kong ibang videos. Ang sabi, parang 3 to 5 days ka daw na hindi pwedeng mag-wash ng face. So, nerease ko talaga yung concern na yun. Sabi naman ni Doc Ben, pwede pala. Okay, basta, yung gagamitin ko ay gentle na cleanser. So, buti na lang approved sa kanya yung Cetaphil since yun naman talaga yung ginagamit ko. And then, uh, right after washing my face daw, so twice a day, kailangan ko maglagay nito. Uh, Clobetasol cream Try na din uh, E-focus Clobetasol cream Galing rin sa Ocean of Youth Aesthetics Dun sa healing ng wounds Yes, it would take around 5 days Okay, so magsa-scab siya Mag-form siya ng scabs uh, Actually, meron ng iba Yung maliliit, meron ng scabs And then, kailangan Hindi siya kukutkutin Okay, so you don't need to rub it Kasi it will fall off on its own Okay, so to avoid scarring, kailangan <laughs> hindi ako mag kut kut. Okay, so medyo challenging kasi may tendency daw na maging itchy siya at times. So, yun, conscious effort na lang na wag mag kamot. Para pala din sa friends ko na nagtatanong kung bakit ako nagpatanggal ng words, uh, three reasons. Three reasons. Number one, um, words are caused by a type of virus. So, HPV. Kapag virus siya, pwede siyang kumalak. Pwede kasi siyang maiwasan. And, syempre, gusto ko na habang kaya pang i-control, matanggal na. Okay? So, parang yung number one reason is for hygiene. Okay? Skin hygiene, skin care. Second reason, na-trigger ako kasi, <laughs> ano, meron ako isang campaign ad dapat na 
na makakasama ako. However, um, at the last minute, uh, pinulaut ako from the project kahit na nakapag-rehearse na, nakapag-fitting na, everything else. Kasi kitang-kita dun sa sa camera yung ward, yung, yung malaki ko dito. And yun lang, missed opportunity. So, sayang naman, di ba, kung mauulit na makamiss ng project because of uh, because of something that can be taken care of, di ba? So, imbis na hindi ko gawa ng paraan and makamiss ako ng ibang opportunities in the future, I decided na mag-go na lang sa procedure ngayon. Di ba? Para maagapan yung ganung instances. And then, the third thing, siguro ano, I, I wanted to ano, I wanted to do something new for the new year. So, as I welcome this new year, di ba? Parang fresh na face. Oh, fresh talaga. So, yun. Yun lang yung reasons. Um, I'll be taking photos and videos of the coming days para makita natin yung progress ng skin. Kasi nga, as I mentioned earlier, magsascab siya talaga. Um, hopefully, wala na mga swelling na mangyari. So, yun. Papakita ko kung ano yung um, mangyayari day to day up until the day na wala na talaga yung scabs and clear na talaga from warts yung skin. So, yeah. I guess I'll end this part of the vlog right here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, so it is day one of the healing process after my warts removal and yun, uh, kaka-shower ko lang so I washed my face with the gentle cleanser nga katulad ng Cetaphil and then ngayon, ang gagawin lang natin is maglalagay ng Clobetasol na cream. Now, um, if you notice lahat na may scab so Ko lang kung masyadong kita pero yeah, all of the wounds ay meron ng scab. So yan ang dami. Pag daw maglalagay nito kailangan using yung Johnson Johnson what brand? <laughs> yung what do you call this? Cotton bud. How do you open it? So <laughs> There, so yan. That is day one. Natin kung meron nung matatanggal na scab. Sorry. Bye-bye. What's up? It's day three of the healing process. And as you can see, or kung kita nyo man, wala na yung, wala na yung mga scabs nung iba. So, mukhang totoo naman na three to five days lang yung healing process. Pero I still need to put medicine on it para lang sure And there, that is it for day three. Day five. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm currently, you know, sick. And yeah, as you can see, medyo wala na. Or sobrang konti na lang talaga yung merong scab. Actually, parang wala na lang. Ang galing, ang bilis nga eh, ang bilis. So yeah, parang smooth na. Tapos yung mga meron lang pigmentation. Kasi siguro, uh, kakatanggal pa lang ng scab dun sa part na yun. So, hopefully in a couple of days, mawala na. And then, yun. So, tutuloy ko lang yung cream na sa maubos. And, yun na. <laughs> konti na lang yung nilagyan ko as compared dun sa diba yung dati like the entire face so ngayon konting spots na lang kasi in very light na lang yung pagka-red nila so yeah hopefully by tomorrow or uh, 
in a couple of days. Eh, sobrang okay. What's up? It's day 7 and ayan, wala na scabs. Wala na, wala na. So meron lang mga discoloration dun sa mga tinanggalan ng scabs and hopefully in a couple of days ay mawala na rin sila. So I am scheduled to go back to Ocean of Youth Aesthetics para matingnan ulit ni Doc kung meron pang kailangan. But yeah, I think it's safe to say na as of the moment, my face is part free. So yes! Again, thank you so much, Ocean of Youth Aesthetics. And I'll see you guys kapag bumalik na ako doon. Alright, so ayan, day 10 na after um, my wart removal procedure. So ayan, yun yung result. So wala na, free of warts na yung face ko. Na ako panibago kasi una, medyo malinis nang tingnan yung buong face. Tapos kapag, kapag naghihilamos, Ah, hindi ko na nakakapa yung malalaking words. Well, it's a good thing. <laughs> At least wala na. So yeah, again, thank you so much Ocean of Youth Aesthetics. Uh, hello kay Doc Beth, kay Ate Rhea and Ate Det na sila yung gumawa ng procedure sa akin. If you want to have the same procedure done or kung ano mang um, procedure yan with regards to your skin, I highly recommend Ocean of Youth Aesthetics. Uh, located sila sa Lopez Avenue here in Los Baños, Laguna. I meant to pause ako. <laughs> so sorry. So yan, ang weird. Uh, maglalagay ako ng ano, maglalagay ako ng before picture here. Okay. Isa pa. Ito pa. Di ba? May mga warts pa. Nakaka-distract. Tapos, yan. Yun yung after. So, wala na yung malalaki dito. Tapos yung dito, yung sobrang laki. Wala na. So, yeah, I'm wart free. Katulad nga itong sabi ko, maraming reasons kung bakit nagpapatanggal ka ng warts. Again, yung sa akin, yung tatlong reasons na na-mention ko earlier. Kung kayo kung gusto nyo magpagawa or magpa-ayos ng something sa face nyo, then go. Diba? If you think that procedure will make you even more confident, then go. Okay, as long as nakakabuti yun uh, towards how you feel about yourself, then I think it's fine. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to end the video there. Again, if you like this video, I hope you did, I hope you did. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell right there to get notified whenever I post new content. Right, so I guess I'll see you guys around and don't forget to always make it count. Bye-bye.